scraping the fender today. It's happening. What's going on, everybody? Thanks for tuning in to another quarantine moto vlog. Hopefully, I'll be able to get out on the street soon. Just got to wait for all this to be over. It's not smart to be out riding right now. I wanted to come down and make a video today talking about how to convince your parents to get your first motorcycle. Whether that's a dirt bike or a street bike, it'll work both ways. Usually street bike. Parents are more more lenient towards dirt bikes. I finally turned up the idle on this thing, so hopefully I'll be able to get some taller wheelies today. Goal is to scrape the fender at some point today. I know we're going to have bad weather here in California the next couple of days, so I want to get some riding in. Bad weather here is still better than good weather most places, I guess. It's going to be like 40 or 50. Alright, so you want to get a motorcycle. What's the first step? Your parents are saying no way. You're probably looking at like R6s and things like that. And they're seeing a crotch rocket and going no way. So here's what you gotta do. First things first is I would always recommend trying to start on a dirt bike. Something like this TTR or maybe a CRF 150, RM85, those type of bikes. Get something small, something that's easy to handle. Learn how to use a clutch, learn how to shift gears with your feet. Learn all that type of stuff, because you definitely don't want to go straight to a street bike. Even like a moped, those 50cc mopeds, those are great to learn. This is actually how I got my first sport bike. I, I probably had three or four dirt bikes before my first sport bike, but I, my first bike was a 2002 or 2003 R6 Yamaha. And I got that bike because I had a diamond necklace from an ex-girlfriend that was worth probably about $800, $1,000 or so, and I traded that necklace for the R6. The R6 I got was absolutely clapped. at like 35,000 miles, no fairings. It was probably worth like maybe a thousand bucks, but it had a clean title and good tires. So it was a good, it was a good bike to learn how to ride on. And it was hard for my parents to say no because I was just getting rid of some old necklace I had and it was a good trade up. So I picked up that R6, rode it for maybe two months, no motorcycle license, nothing like that, just riding in a helmet, super sketchy. But it was a great bike to learn how to ride on because it was it had no fairings on it. So if I laid it down or something like that, it was no big deal. And it was such a cheap bike. That's, you never want to be the guy that goes and finances an R3 or R6 or something as your first bike, brand new off the lot, and then you drop it on your first ride and lose five grand in value. That's why I always recommend getting some beat up bike for your first bike. Oh, I gotta go slower. All right, so once you found yourself either of your friend's bike or you got yourself a moped or a pit bike or something like that to learn how to ride on, ride that thing around for a couple of months or a month or so and get, get comfortable with riding a bike. And once you've done that, you go to your parents and you say you want to get a, you say you want to get something to fix up, an old project or something like that. Just browse through all the for sale pages, Craigslist, let go, offer up, all that type of stuff, and find yourself a really good deal on a beat up old bike that doesn't run. Oh, that had to have been close to scraping the fender. I'm getting there. All right, it's time to scrape the fender. Odds are your parents might try to fight you on that a little bit, but just tell them it's a it's a project to fix up. You're not going to be riding it. Then you get the bike, and you spend about a month or so fixing it up, put new tires on it, all the basics, change all the fluids, that type of things, get it running. And then tell your parents you just want to run it around the neighborhood, see how it rides. And then slowly your parents will start to realize it's not as dangerous as everybody makes it sound. <clears throat> so you take that, once you get that bike running, you try to convince them, just say, I just want to run it around the block, make sure it runs good. 
and then slowly you just start taking that out more and more frequently and then they will become less paranoid about motorcycles you just want to make sure you're not doing anything dumb on it because that will quickly quickly lose their trust if you go do something stupid on it as soon as your parents will allow you definitely go do one of those courses where it's like half class and then half riding where they, they provide the bikes to like old 250s and stuff like that those are super beneficial or even if you've been riding dirt bikes those classes definitely still help a lot and they're fun and your parents will think you're more responsible oh that was so close your parents will think you're more responsible for wanting to do one of those classes and that'll gain a little bit of trust so try to convince them to go do one of those classes while you're fixing up your bike that you bought your cheap fixer upper that you bought to be getting so close to touching the fender. I can't wait to see the third person shots. But yeah, the class is gonna show that you're, you're being responsible about it and you're not just gonna be some squid. And then what I recommend, you don't wanna ride, I mean, depending on what kind of bike you got. My bike definitely, the R6 I had was definitely not a good bike. It was unstable at speed. And just definitely, I think it had been wrecked pretty bad a few times. Definitely not a good, good bike to ride year round but so once your once your parents are a little bit more lenient flip that bike that you bought to fix up and go get yourself a nice clean good beginner bike I went from that R6 actually to an older bike I got a FCR 600 and that was one of the best bikes I ever had because it was like new is low mileage everything on it was original still had that ugly fender and everything and that bike was amazing and it was so much safer even though it was an older bike with worse technology just because it was a all oem and then once you have once you get your slightly newer better bike that's the bike you start riding on and take it slow learn try to not do anything too stupid too soon and your parents will slowly gain trust with motorcycles and realize they're not as dangerous as you think i really appreciate everybody going to cop some merch. I just dropped a bunch of new stuff. Go make sure to go check it out.